Hello, and welcome to another tantalising taste of Landmark Beta with me, Binage. Um, there's quite a large patch this week, um, introducing the Player Studio uh, for the most part, um, but I think it's um, probably going to be quite a short um, episode this because I don't really intend to go into Player Studio very much and also the um, the marketplace aspects are actually showing you um, how to buy stuff um, isn't working for me at the moment so uh, I don't know if it's broken universally or if it's just me at this moment um, we'll see but um, I haven't been able to make it work today which is <laughs> a shame in terms of the video but um, I'm sure it will work, it will be fine, uh, you can access it um, via the showcase down here, the little gold shopping cart. Um, as you see, it's really, that's all I get. That or no results. Not ideal. Not great TV. Anyway. Um, uh, the uh, as I say, uh, the specifics of um, Player Studio are covered in depth by um, by other videos um, in terms of how to submit your templates and what the rules are about your templates and um, you know how to apply for the tax licensing thing. Um, now I might go in, might do some stuff on um, Player Showcase at some point. Uh, so if you want me to film that, um, do leave a comment in the comment section below uh, and I might give some thought to um, giving you some edited highlights as opposed to watching me fumble through it in a blow-by-blow -blow thing. Anyway, um, so I, I'd love to be able to show you um, more about the Player Studio and how you, you know, how you buy at least. Um, but as I say, just at the moment, I'm afraid I can't. Um, maybe next week? We shall see. Um, one thing that I can show you, which is kind of fascinating, is um, if you go up to um, your info bar about your claim, and I'm pretty sure this works for any claim, uh, you can switch on a thing called Voxel Vision. And uh, Voxel Vision gives you um, this tickable box, and you tick it there, and it shows you what has been placed by um, which builders. Uh, in this case there is only one builder here and that builder is me. So as you see everything has suddenly been coloured except for the props. Uh, this is very interesting, it's going to be particularly interesting um, once uh, templates, of, uh, not templates, well, yeah. Well, well, once people start buying stuff uh, from the uh, from the uh, store from the player studio, uh, because you'll be able to sort of wander around claims, and hopefully, I uh, hope this is how it works. Uh, you'll be able to see um, what they've bought and from whom, uh, which could be could be quite interesting. Uh, further down the line. Probably I imagine that most builds at the moment will be mono builds like mine where there's only been one builder um, so everything will be teal. But as I say in the future when people start buying stuff from the player showcase um, I think it could be quite interesting. Anyway, on to the next bit um, which is looking at um, what they've done to caves. Uh, so I'll see you in a short while underground. And here we are underground, as promised. Um, now, um, sad news first. Um, the face wall bug, uh, which I spoke to you about last time, where you go into first person mode and shove your face into the wall and you can sort of x-ray through the ground, um, that's been removed. Uh, unfortunately it wasn't a particularly well kept secret um, and chumps like me were broadcasting it all over the place so um, that means that Sony found out about it and fixed it in inverted commas unfortunately the detector tools at least you know from my perspective um, are still a bit painful to use 
Um, but they are imp they, are, they have promised to improve the the way that those things work. So um, I think it's just going to be a lean few days for for people like me for for whom the detectors give no really useful information. Um, <coughs> so anyway, uh, more news now. They've changed the way that resources are distributed. Let me uh, zoom around here. Cause just give you another view. Um, uh, now, on the surface of um, each island, you only get common ore, gems, and stone. So, uh, on tier one islands, you get um, copper and agate found on the surface. On tier two, you find iron, tin, aquamarine, marble and amaranthine on the surface. Uh, tier 3 you find tungsten, a uh, little bit of silver, amethyst, marble, amaranthine, obsidian and alabaster. And on tier 4 you find cobalt, gold, I think in small quantities, um, sapphire, obsidian and alabaster. Um, in order to get the rare ores and gems, uh, you need to go underground, you need to go into caves. So um, I'm on a tier 2 island at the moment, and uh, if I want to get silver on a tier 2 island, I have to go underground to get it. On the bright side, um, they seem to have uh, increased the... Um, well, I don't know if they've increased the, uh, the number of ore nodes that there are, or just, you know, they're all rare now. You don't, you can't find iron underground on a tier two anymore, um, which is pretty good, I guess. Um, so there, for example, is a silver node, uh, and there's quite a few of them, which is good. So, eh, yeah, silver's easier to find now, um, uh, and you tend not to find it. Sort of, uh, you tend not to find uh, ores leading on from one another, so you don't find. Um, say tungsten leading into silver anymore which is pretty good actually I quite I quite like that um, uh, so anyway onto the uh, list um, in tier 1 caves uh, if you go underground you find iron tin aquamarine tourmaline and ancient earth if you go into tier 2 caves you find tin tungsten silver tourmaline amethyst topaz and ancient earth uh, going to tier 3 caves, uh, you find silver, cobalt, gold, topaz, sapphire, emerald, and ancient earth. And tier 4 caves, you find gold, mithril, rubicite, emerald, ruby, diamond, and ancient earth. Uh, also rarely found in tier 4 caves are now ethereum and moonstone. Uh, the the uh, latest uh, materials to be added which we've been expecting for a while uh, so it'll be uh, and uh, people have already started making things with those so um, yeah look forward to seeing more of that uh, now um, apparently veins that combine stone and metal and stone and gems have been removed this isn't well, um, I don't think this is the cat. This has worked. This is stuck because I've um, been mining um, a few nodes uh, of, say, silver, and they've led on to uh, a gem, a small gem node. So uh, I don't think that's as fixed as they think it is. But it pr it will. I'm sure that it will be at some point, and uh, you'll just have um, single resource nodes, which is no bad thing in my estimation. Um, a couple of changes have been made to uh, treasure chest loot. Um, I'm rubbish at running and reading. Let's bounce around. Uh, yes, treasure chest loot, which I wish I could show you, but uh, as you know, I have the worst luck when it comes to uh, oof, uh, when it comes to tr finding treasure chests. So uh, you'll just have to. Uh, take my word for it. Um, right, mechanised and powered pulverisers have been removed from the treasure chest loot table uh, and have been replaced with a, a unique pulverizer called the Calibrated Rock Grinder. Uh, the Rock Grinder is a high quality pulverizer that is not upgradable, so you can't sort of turn it into a legendary one, 
but it is better than unmodified versions of regular pulverizers. So it's better than a green pulver any of the green pulverizers that you can make at the moment, uh, but not necessarily as good as, say, blues or oranges. Uh, the chance of items such as accessories and gear dropping from chests has apparently been tripled. Uh, so these items should be seen more frequently uh, when you find and open a chest, which is um, good news, I think. Uh, again, I I have the worst luck in the world. Hardly ever find. I have found a couple of chests since last we spoke, so um, I mean that's good. <laughs> but n uh, found nothing of any use in either of them. If, uh, however, if they have tripled the the chance, then you know maybe I'm in with a chance of winning of winning finding something that is actually useful <laughs> in a chest um, uh, now a couple of uh, crafting things uh, actually crafting things it's crafting let's go to a workbench see you in a bit and here we are in my workshop so let's have a look and see what we can find right um, first thing is the uh, Traveller's Grappling Hook. Uh, you can ma now make from Tier 1 ingredients uh, 8 copper ingots and uh, 8 elemental copper. So you don't need to go underground at all uh, to get this. Uh, it'll take a while to, uh, to get uh, 8 elemental copper, but really not that long. Um, and once you have one of these um, you'll be able to venture underground with let's have a look light stones and light stones are made with agate no wait a minute that's got to be regular copper yeah elemental copper one of and ten agates and that gives you ten light stones um, which provides a small amount of light for an hour which is great so, with the combination of those two, um, beginning characters, or sort of very, very close to beginning characters, um, can now uh, safely explore caves. And once they uh, introduce um, full damage, let alone um, sort of combat and mobs, um, these things will be absolutely indispensable. So it's really good that they've uh, implemented them now. Um, one slight change uh, here is that the ore prospector now uses aquamarine. Honestly, I can't remember what it used to use, but now, whatever it is, it's aquamarine, so I suspect they've made it slightly easier to make. Uh, although, really, given the materials, it's actually, it's, it's not that hard to make at all already. Um, Alright, so that brings us uh, to the end of uh, this episode. Uh, if you have any comments, do please leave them uh, in the space provided below. Um, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, please leave a dislike. Um, all feedback is welcome. Uh, but, uh, yeah, sadly no props this week, uh, except on, give on sort of, you know, Twitch, which is something of a sore point for a large chunk of the community. But, um, yes, I shan't, I shan't rattle on about that, because I've... I've I've written sufficiently about it elsewhere, I think. Uh, anyway, until next time, uh, I hope you'll join me, and uh, toodaloo.